Hey everybody, this is Dave Cooper and we are in Eying, Germany and we are staying on a horse farm up here as we visit Munich factories, building centers of pulling. We're going to be all over Germany, all over Austria, as well as a little bit of Italy. In today's show, we have David Tompos on. That's right, from NTA, third party approvals. David is going to talk to us about what they're doing to move NTA into the future. How do they help you with your manufacturing? How do they help you with testing and approvals? That's right, they're also a research lab for those testings and approval. So stay tuned, watch this right after our sponsors, David Tompos. Stream Modular, the only logistics company you need to transport your mods, pods, and panels. Our friends at Stream Modular are investing $50 million over the next 25 years to build the technology, solutions, and trailers needed to handle and transport the projects of today and meet the demands of tomorrow. Reach out to their team at StreamModular.com to discuss your next project. CombiLift is the largest global global manufacturer of multi-directional forklifts and straddle carriers. A leader in long load handling solutions offering a free warehouse and site optimization design service. CombiLift helps companies of all sizes and from every industry maximize the capacity, safety, and efficiency of their warehouse and storage facilities. A big thank you to Paul Short and the team at CombiLift for helping us all to build it better. Visit them at combilift.com. Brave Control Solutions, where offsite manufacturing systems that do more than just improve productivity. They have a unique approach to industrialized construction, a lineup of flexible automation systems specifically designed for the construction industry and powered by CAD 2Fab and turnkey solutions for 3D volumetric assembly, structural insulated panels, finished wall assemblies, MEP component processing, assembly, kitting, and storage. Learn more at thinkbrave.com. I think one of the huge advantages of offsite construction though is that we have quality programs that we put in place in the factory. So even when we're not in the factory watching everything that's going on, there's systematic processes that the manufacturers have that guarantee that all those homes meet the building codes. Hey everybody, Dave Cooper and I am standing with David Tompas, President NTA. David, thanks for joining us. Great to be here, thank you. Who is NTA? So NTA, uh, we do a couple things. One, we are a testing laboratory. So we test and evaluate building products. Uh, we do uh, structural testing, fire testing, plumbing testing. And then the other side of our business is regulations for offsite construction. So we partner with manufacturers to help them build safe, affordable construction. And that's where I know NTA from. Being a home builder for all these years in offsite construction, over 20, I have seen the NTA stamp on my plans many, many times. I did not know that you guys were into the testing side of it as well and seeing how things work so you can help get approvals for it. Yeah, absolutely. We have manufacturers come to us all the time with innovative products. Tell me a little bit more about what your role is at uh, NTA. So my title is uh, president. I've been at NTA for about 25 years. So I've kind of done just about every job at NTA. And what territories does NTA cover? So we have manufacturers in just about every state. And, right. and we're not limited just to the United States. We're sending products uh, into Canada. Mm -hmm. We have uh, manufacturers that build in Europe and uh, ship to the United States. Uh, we've seen manufacturers build in China. And come here? Yeah, so we send our inspectors uh, into those locations into those and, and bring product make in. sure they meet the requirements for whatever state they're going to in the United States. Yeah. So as a main role with offsite construction and the third party approval process with that, walk us through why is there a third party approval needed when you don't need that with an, a site built home? Well, we're really doing the same thing that happens in a site built home. You go to the local jurisdiction, you have to get your permit. Mm -hmm. That building official is gonna come out and do periodic inspections yeah. on your site, correct? And we're doing the same thing, we're just doing it in a different location. So. I think one of the huge advantages of offsite construction though is that we have quality programs that we put in place in the factory. So even when we're not in the factory watching everything that's going on, there's systematic processes that the manufacturers have that guarantee that all those homes meet the building codes. How many homes a year are you guys doing right now from NTA? 
I will tell you, in the, our career uh, that we started back in 76, we've done almost 3 million homes that we've certified. So sure. I would say in the order of you know, 50,000 50, a year. 50,000 a year. Uh, is it just modular? Is it panelized? You know, walk us through what you actually cover on that. It's all the above. So we've got some manufacturers that do panelized construction, closed panels, so they're yeah. completely finished uh, when they leave the factory and go to site. We have manufactured housing that we do basically all the states that have a modular program right. we're working with. In my time as a builder, you know, and getting third party approvals uh, from NTA, we always had the frustration of it takes more time than it does for an architect to submit plans. Offsite construction's growing rapidly right now. Here we are in Washington, DC, you got the Housing Innovation Showcase happening for the third year. So it's exciting to see it grow. How is NTA growing to keep up with what's going on with that demand and how are you going to be turning these plans around, you know? Back? Well, I always think it's interesting when manufacturers ask me, oh, how long does it take? And, yeah. and I need to know, uh, how long do you need it to take? Because typical on a residential home, we're turning things around in one to two days in a lot of cases. Yeah. And a lot of times the, the time frame is the engineers trying to make corrections to those drawings. Mm -hmm. And so when you get a set of drawings that's coming from the draftsman at the factory, your job is to be the overseer to make sure that it's gonna be built correctly, to code and safe before it can go to the public. Absolutely. And that, that's really a general rule. The future of construction, right? There's AI, there's technology. I'm assuming you're looking at all of this. I am. So I have a background in computer and electrical engineering. So very interested in AI. Uh, I think that the tools that we're going to see over the next couple of years are going to yeah. completely change our industry. The way we build, uh, the way we design, and the way we do uh, enforce the code. So yeah. I think we're going to see things like augmented reality that are going to help builders understand and see their drawings in real time as they build it and know whether or not they're in conformance or not. Yeah, which is great technology and it's actually coming out more and more. We're seeing it on job sites even being used. What is the biggest misconception that people have from the NTA? I think I even said earlier, like, what do people yell at you for? Like, what, <laughs> you know, because I'm sure that, you know, there's always back and forth, you know, because you got a consumer, you got a manufacturer, you got an NTA, then the manufacturer, then consumer. I'm sure, I'm sure you hear it all. Well, again, it goes back to the cost, which I, I, I talked about where, you know, things are relatively quick. So we don't have a lot of cost in this. Right. Um, entire regulation, you know, for, for one home, you're looking at a few hundred dollars a lot of times, and that includes the plan review right. and inspections. And we can get to that point with the economy of scale because w when you have a manufacturer that's building four, five, six units a day, it brings that cost down very quickly. How do people find out more about the NTA and the, the plan and approval process? So if I'm a manufacturer, I'm coming over here from Europe or from Canada, or hey, I'm just a new startup that's happening like we have out here. How do I start doing something that helps me get approval from the NTA, the ICC, everything? So I do it all the time. I mean, on a weekly basis, I'm having calls with manufacturers and walking them through the process. Cause you're right, yeah. most of them don't don't know how the process works. Right. And so we walk them through exactly what they need. We help them with mm -hmm. templates for their quality manuals, uh, explain all the state regulations. So I think the easiest way is to just get on a phone call. Let us know yeah. what you're going to build, uh, you know, how big you want your manufacturing plant, and we can help with all of that. David, thanks so much for coming on. There you have it, David Tompos, President, NTA. I'm Dave Cooper. We are in Washington, D.C. Stay tuned.